We are energetic, vibrational beings. What used to be spiritual teachings, that everything is energy, we now know from quantum physics that it's true. That means our bodies too are energy, even if they feel solid. The energy of fear is very low frequency. Love is much higher. So let's take a deep breath and another. Take a few deep centering breaths. And let's begin following the breath deeper and deeper within. As we allow ourselves to drop into our bodies and to relax, we follow the breath as it deepens and slows down. We relax more deeply, letting go a little bit more. Letting go of stress, worries, anxiety, tension. Just letting it all go for a few minutes. You can pick up all that stuff again in a few minutes if you'd like. For now, we just relax and we feel ourselves calming down, becoming centered deep inside ourselves, allowing ourselves to feel safe, secure, protected, completely safe. And if you're willing, let's suspend disbelief for a few minutes, just like we do when we go to a movie or a play. We make believe and allow ourselves to be carried away for a couple of hours into other worlds, other realities. Let's allow ourselves to believe that what poets and mystics and songwriters throughout history have told us, that everything is love, that love makes the world go round, is true. If that's the case, that means we too are love. We too are love. Keep breathing, relaxing, dropping in a little bit more, feeling safe. Imagine then, that each one of the trillion cells in our bodies is being filled with love with every breath we take. And as we keep breathing love into the cells, that love begins to push out anything that does not share its nature, anything that is not love, out of the cell membranes, out of the tissues, out of the organs pushing out anything that does not belong in our bodies. Fear, anxiety, stress, dis-ease, which is the lack of ease. It's a disharmony, imbalance in our bodies, in our planet. So we feel all that stuff as it filters out of our skin and out into space. Only love remains. And yet we keep breathing in love. So much love that it now starts coming out of our skin. Surrounding and enveloping us in a beautiful cocoon of love. A protective shield of love that allows only that which shares its essence to penetrate. Anything that is not of love gets repelled out into space or transmuted into love. And all along, feel your energy, your vibrational frequency getting higher, cleaner, purified, crystal clear, more powerful. It's the energy of love. And nothing, nothing can stand in the face of love. Let's anchor that energy. Come up with a simple physical act. Maybe touching your thumb and forefinger together. Or maybe placing the tip of your tongue behind your two front teeth. 
where they meet the roof of your mouth. That'll be your anchor. Going forward, if you need an energy boost as you begin your day, or a moment of quieting and centering as it ends, or if you need to power up before an important meeting or a difficult conversation, all you have to do is remember to slow down and deepen your breath, and then use your anchor. And that cocoon of love will be there, because ultimately, that is what we're made of. That is our essence. One last thing. Let's now imagine every one of the seven and a half billion humans collectively filling up with love and creating that cocoon of love, that protective shield around themselves. As we drive out fear collectively, sending it way out into space. And in the process, expelling, ejecting the coronavirus. COVID-19, you're done. Be gone. But not before receiving any lessons that we may need from it any important messages that it may have for humanity at this time. Because in the ultimate analysis, we're all connected. Connected to all of life on this planet. And so that means that we're also connected to COVID-19. And perhaps it has a message for us. So let's learn what we need to learn make any course adjustments that we need to make and move on. In life, in nature, death is always followed by rebirth. Spring always breaks after the cold, hard, gray winter. So keep breathing. Keep yourself centered and calm. That's the most important thing you can do to boost your immune system. This too shall pass. Until next time, I'm Christian de la Huerta. To find out more about my work, please visit soulfulpower.com. And to register for one of the upcoming online sessions, sign up for our email list and we'll let you know when the next one is happening. Thank you.